cancer. I was watching, well, actually I was reading on the internet, and uh, the American Cancer Society has a uh, new uh, sales pitch out about make a lot of noise about cancer so we can get the cure. We shouldn't be silent. And I was thinking, you know, I asked them for permission to use their stuff on their website, and uh, they got back to me once, and then they wouldn't get back to me again. So I, I guess they don't want to help other people make noise, just send them money. I worked in a medical imaging lab at the university. We were imaging cancer, so we know what cancer is. If you read out on the websites, they tell you what cancer is. It's a cell that's been damaged, that uh, hasn't healed, and it uh, grows out of control. So in essence, uh, cancer is like a little kid that's not around its parents anymore. It doesn't know how to behave. It's hyped up on sugar, pumped up on music, video games, running around, overloaded with books. Uh, did I say hyped up on sugar? Because sugar feeds cancer. Has no rest and, you know, runs amok in society and then, you know, the police come and take it away. Oh boy, where do we see that in society? Oh wait, we have a whole society that promotes that. How funny. And we have a whole society that's filled with cancer, too. Whereas the, the Amish, if you read on the websites, they have statistically a lot less diseases, including cancer, than what we do. But then again, their lifestyle is completely different than what uh, mainstream America is also. And there's more fresh air, fresh food, all of that good stuff. And they're outside working all the time, but they're protected from what they say is the cause, UV damage. On the other hand, in the lab, uh, we realize that, you know, after looking at the cancer cells, cancer cells are like cooked meat compared to uh, raw meat of our skin. So, okay, where do we get cooked? Well, you know, since the 1940s and 50s, we've had an increase in radio waves and microwaves and power transmission throughout our whole environment. So it's not just the sun that's cooking us, it's our radio waves and our microwaves and our power waves that is cooking the environment. So we're just basically more cooked today. And oh yeah, in, in the lab, uh, we also know that uh, cancer cells are 180 degrees out of phase with uh, uh, normal cells. So whereas your normal heartbeat is doom, 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 doom. Cancer is like doom, doom, tsh, doom, doom, tsh, doom, doom, tsh, doom, doom, tsh. So your cancer cells are the doom, doom, tsh, doom, doom, tsh. Just like the rock music we've listened to in the 60s and 70s and into the 80s and into the 90s. So our whole environment is opposite of what our body really wants. You know, fresh air, clean food. Oh, and cancer cells are cells that never heal. And what does it take to heal? Well, everything in nature knows you. Well, you need to rest to heal. And we pump our society 24-7, on the go, driven, driven, driven. Whereas the rest of um, nature, it has these cycles. Springtime and fall and winter and summer. And we have rock cycles and water cycles and salt cycles. And we have daily cycles where we need rest. But not modern society, 24-7, keep them big cities up 24 hours a day, just pump, 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 until, you know, they get to be like 65 and then we'll rest them, you know, which is opposite of what the rest of our environment does. So, you know, when you read the websites and they say, you know, if you just change your lifestyle a bit and you get some rest, you get some exercise, you get some time to heal, then you actually eliminate 40, 50, even more percent chance of actually getting cancer in the first place. How funny that is. 
the rest of the environment, you know, the little ones are carried by mom, and then they're born, and then they stay around mom, and they get fresh milk from mom, and, and, and then they, they're roughing around with dad, and they're staying in the herd, and they're protected, whereas human beings, you know, modern human beings, anyhow, rush the mom into a hospital, pull the baby away from the mother, pump them with chemicals, you know, gotta get them vaccinated, gotta do all these things to them, gotta hit them with all these lights, the noises, sounds, and all of that stuff, and oh boy, our modern society has more cancer than what we had a hundred years ago. How funny that is. We live opposite of what nature intends. And we have a lot of cancer. And when we look at the cancer cells, we realize they're 180 degrees out of phase with normal cells. And they're fried and they're stiff, as opposed to flexible, like raw flesh. How ironic is that? 80% of our health care costs could be changed. They know as far back as the 50s, the scientists, the doctors know that. If we would just change our lifestyles, you know proper food, proper exercise, get some rest, stay away from smoking, not too much drinking. We all know these things. And yet we're pumping more and more money into the fact that, oh, we need to find cures for our stupid way of living, basically. That is opposite of what nature would have us do. How ironic is that? And then when you read the scientific journals, you realize <laughs> the scientists, because they're under more pressure, and they need more grants, and they need more money, and they need more time. Guess what? They're also committing more fraud and theft of property, intellectual property of other people, because there's so much pressure on them. And when you, you read their statistics, the one guy says, well, you know, if there was, if there was more money and less and, and, and more money and more time and, and just less pressure, you know, we wouldn't be lying and cheating and stealing and have to retract our papers. How funny is that? Actually, long ago, there was this prophet that walked the earth, and he said, he who is faithful in the little things is faithful in the much. He who is unjust in the little things is unjust in the much. Catch the sarcasm there, huh? Cancer, 100%, 180 degrees out of phase with normal cells. Our society is 180 degrees out of phase with the rest of our world. And even scientists and educators, if you read the TED Talks, they say, you know, and I'm quoting somebody, I forget his name, but it's out there. All you got to do is look it up. It's, it's self-evident, if human beings died off, nature would go back to an equilibrium. And it would pass on for hundreds and thousands of years. Whereas if human beings keep doing what we keep doing, more and more and more species will just plain die off. Yeah, so let's not keep silent about the fact that we are killing ourselves by being out of phase with nature. And we've got greedy people in power lying and cheating and stealing for what little money is left so that they can keep their jobs. Now, why do we have cancer? Self-evident. We're damaging ourselves and we're refusing to heal because we refuse to get in line with what nature teaches us. We want 24-7. And nature wants dum 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 dum. Give it a rest. Everything has a rest. We have winter. We have summer. We have springtime. We have harvest. Ancient kings wrote. There is a season for everything. There is a season for everything. It's time to live, there's a time to die, there's a time to rest, there's a time to work. There's a time for every purpose under the sun. It's been known for centuries. Somehow our modern world's got this idea that 
we can just drive and drive and drive and drive and drive and drive and drive. Pump more money at people who are lying, cheating, and stealing and somehow come up with answers to why we're dying. How funny is that? <laughs> <laughs> and nature probably thinks, oh good, they'll kill themselves off and we'll go back to being balanced. <laughs> but hey, let's not keep silent about it. Just don't send your money to other people. You know, buy some good food, take some time off, <laughs> relax. It works. <laughs> don't stress about it. Oh yeah. And if I could get a grant for, say, maybe $50,000, I could, I could write it all up really nice and put it on the internet where everybody could read it for free. Pretty cool, huh? One-time grant, $50,000. I write it up, I put it on the internet, everybody can read it for free. Pretty cool, huh? That'd be cheaper than spending these guys, sending money to these guys who are lying and cheating and stealing to get millions of dollars of your taxpayer money to put ads and all sorts of other greedy things on the internet so they can get more money. And I'll pay my taxes on it too. <laughs> I won't even be non, uh, not for profit. I'll pay my taxes on whatever grant I get. And I won't lie and cheat and steal to you. In fact, well, I won't lie and cheat and steal. We could just compile the information. One website. We wouldn't have to keep going through all these people who are going to copyright it and keep it from the general public. Actually, in fact, if you go on YouTube and all these other places, there's all these other places that show what you can do to avoid cancer. It's not a cure. Just avoid it. Heal. You get injured, you heal. You don't get injured, you don't have to heal. Pretty straightforward, eh? Not that difficult. And you don't have to spend millions of dollars to do it. <laughs>